Ava, thanks for being with us. Let's get right to it. Let's get right to the CCP and what they're doing. Over the last 24 hours, Ava, the last day, uh, China has sent 37 fighter jets and bombers across the midpoint of the Taiwan Strait. Why? So I think um, people pretty maybe you were already knowing the from the Ju- uh, July 20th to July 23rd that the Chinese uh, government and the Russian are actually um, was holding the uh, joint um, army exercise in Taiwan Strait. So they're already doing their drills in navies and air, uh, airspace. And then also um, I think this week is where the Taiwan uh, the the sovereign island is planned to their annual drill the military drill. So I think this is this is exactly what the kind of behavior we have been already observing the last three uh, two or three years. The incursions happened repeatedly over Taiwan Strait. So um, as Miles School, I will founder uh, the uh, the leader of the uh, Chinese whistleblower movement and the new federal state of China. Um, Miles School has basically already told us two or three years ago, I think two and a half years ago, he mentioned about Xi's uh, goal fixated on taking back Taiwan. So that war is a, a will happen because as long as she uh, gets to live, uh, that dream of him from very young age will persist on. But the, 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 the question comes to how does the free world react to that? So I'm hoping that the international community led by U.S., including Japan, Australia, and other countries are ready. You know, when the moment comes, then they're ready to basically deter and fight and win. But here I'm going to share with you some insights. I think this might be, she might facing some internal uh, fight in his own uh, uh, Communist Party because uh, the recent news does not help him. It, it, sh- it basically has shed a light on his mental model. I think he is in terror, extreme terror. The reason why is, um, it, as we know, that the anti-espionage law went into effect in, on July 1st, but it's actually updated in April. But since the law was updated, there's a lot of top military ranking officials has been mysteriously died. Okay, so I'm just going to give you an example. Yesterday, news reported, actually two days ago, uh, on 24th, Lieutenant General Wang Shaojun, he was the former head of the Central Security Bureau, and basically he is the bodyguard. He, he, he oversees the security of the Chinese top leader and the compound called Zhongnanhai, where all those top leaders live in Beijing. So he... He basically died, and according to the public report, this is interesting. Um, they, they they say he died in April, on April 26. But the report just released basically on a uh, three months later. Why the three months delay? And also the report say he died of unknown illness. Okay, so this is one uh, very very important in- information. And the second piece of information is just actually last month, June 6. When she, the, the, the communist dictator, um, inspect, inspecting the Eastern Theater Command, uh, the, the, the deputy commander of the rocket force of the CCP, of the PLA, basically died. And according to the, uh, there, there, there were conflicting reports. You know, one reports from the military saying that he died of suicide. And then uh, the other reports from the CCP propaganda, uh, other outlets saying he died of uh, uh, hemorrhoid, brain aneurysm. So, so, so there's a, you know, conflicting information. So how did he die? Nobody know. And then on the, uh, on the same day, not only the deputy commander, the commander of the rocket force was taken away for uh, alleged uh, bribery or whatever further investigations so these are the things that happened at the highest level and just earlier this year march 1st the mile school uh, received uh, in, uh, intels and he basically told his followers on live streaming that the chinese communist party has already sent its rocket force to uh, uh, russia helping them invading uh, uh, ukraine 
So that was the news. So you, you're connecting all this together with the very recent disappearance of the uh, minister, foreign minister. And just yesterday, they announced the foreign minister was replaced by the former uh, foreign minister, Wang Yi. So you figure there's so there's something going on is I'm suspecting there's there, there maybe a coup that was play, planned, you know, that she um, uh, felt very unsafe given that the Wagner things that happened just a weeks ago in Russia. So I think, you know, th this is a very sensitive time. So we're very uh, we're watching very closely in terms of what's going on within China and also uh, what's happening at uh, the, uh, the, the the free world.